Park is the heart of the Shenango Valley. Here, people of all ages and backgrounds gather for recreation and social activities in a beautiful, natural setting. More than 100,000 people visit Buell Park each year. In its 90 years, the legacy left by Frank and Julia Buell has become an integral part of life in the Shenango Valley. When we support Buell Park, we keep our living legacy beautiful and useful today and for generations to come. It's a fantastic place. It's, it's the jewel of the Shenango Valley. Uh, if someone comes to visit me from out of town, first place I bring them is Buell Farm. Probably the earliest memories of uh, Buell Park is after church, we'd come down and walk through Mrs. Buell's garden. And then we also had pony rides here. And uh, 10 or 11, we'd come over and ride ponies. My husband did grow up in this valley, and he remembered when they ice skated on the pond. And for years, there was an ice skating rink here where our children skated. I was a young mother, and I had two little girls. We lived in Farrell, which is a little bit of a distance away, and we would come here to play all the time or to, to bring a picnic and to eat. To the people of the many communities that make up the Shenango Valley, Buell Park has always been an important part of their life. The greatest thing about moving here was Buell Park. Probably the first day my husband took me to Buell Park to run and play tennis. And that was just, I don't think I've ever left Buell Park 31 years later. My kids were down here all the time because we only lived about a quarter of a half a mile away. So they were down here in the summer all the time trying to catch turtles and what have you. My parents would always bring us up to the park and ride bikes around and if some, one of us were too young to ride a two-wheeler they'd have a, like a little chair strapped to the back of theirs and we, they'd ride us around the park. I can remember my parents bringing me up here for the pony rides. Uh, ice skating, um, I did a lot of ice skating in the winter. Buell Farm, as it was founded, is the living legacy given to us by Frank and Julia Buell, our region's most generous benefactors. Frank Buell saw himself not as a wealthy man, but as the custodian of, of great wealth. And then he also saw that he had an obligation to use that great wealth for the benefit of the people who had made that wealth possible for, for him. Well, he wanted to uh, provide, he was a major employer in this area at the time. This is around the turn of the century. Uh, he wanted to uh, provide uh, a place of recreation for the, his employees and, and their friends. The Buells never had any children. And so they wanted to leave a legacy um, to the people of the community. So they set up the park. Um, you know, they put in the roads. That's when we had the pony rides. And when you could ice skate, they built the casino. Um, everything, with the understanding that everything in the park was always to be free. Mr. Buell, in his foresight and wisdom, sought to leave this to the community. Uh, now, some many, many decades later, uh, the community's still enjoying it. And I think he'd be very proud of the fact that that dream has certainly been fulfilled and is alive today that uh, those same people, those same families are continuing to enjoy the park. Hundreds of children and adults visit the park every day, creating memories that last a lifetime. I like playing tennis. Uh, I like just walking around in the park. Uh, occasionally we'd, you know, we'd play at the baseball field, you know, pick up game, that kind of stuff. Uh, just the, the, the bicycle ride getting here, the, the riding around the park, uh, you know, it was just sort of a destination for us. It was some place to go. I can remember when I was just actually preschool, coming down to this activity building and uh, in the summer and being in some sort of a preschool recreation program. And uh, through my teenage years, when we used to come to functions at the casino and and then as an adult, uh, right up until now, using the park for walking and jogging and, and those sorts of things. 
Buell Park is more than 300 acres of trees, fields, roads, a lake, and what is quite possibly the only free golf course in the world. I tell people all over the country, at least ask me three times, golf for free. And I said, yes, golf for free. That's unbelievable. Well, it's a plus that it's free, but it's just, even the fact that it is free, it's a beautiful course and it's maintained very well, as well as other courses are. It's just a great place to start to play on. I do a lot of recruiting for companies, so when I bring people through the park, they cannot believe that, that a park such as this exists with the only free golf course in the world. If I show them this park nine times out of ten, I'll get those people to move to this area. Fostering a strong economy and healthy business environment in the Shenango Valley is a top priority. Buell Park, in addition to its cherished cultural and recreational value, is also a significant economic asset. People who come into town and they're looking to relocate to this area all comment that they can't believe that we have this 360 plus acres. Um, that's a uh, a large deciding factor to locate within the community or to move out of town even though they may work in the community. It's just, uh, just a wonderful part of our community that certainly enhances our quality of life here and, and needs to be maintained um, into the future. Without this park, um, we'd have less attraction for young families, you know, which we desperately need to keep. I just want it to be preserved. I don't want it to be developed into any other kind of a thing. It's not a commercial venture. It just has a really good family feel. And I'd like to be able to retain that. Buell Park has served our community without the support of tax dollars. The legacy of Frank and Julia Buell is a testimony to America's philanthropic spirit. Taxes don't even pay. It's not our money. It's money that was already there that pays for it. If Buell Park, Buell Farm didn't exist, each of the municipalities in the valley would have substantial tax impact to provide recreational facilities, and none of them have to do this because of Buell Park. So it's a real gift to the community, and it's a, it's a relief to all of the municipalities in budget terms. I'm not sure how many people even recognize the fact that, uh, that there's no tax support for uh, the facility here. It costs about $900,000 to a million dollars per year to operate the park and the golf course. Less than half of that is generated from investment earnings, small amount from user fees and driving range fees. Together, we can ensure that Buell Park thrives for the next 100 years. We're embarking upon this capital campaign because we are unable to uh, pay for some of the major uh, expenditures that are, are now required. I think it's our responsibility as adults and community citizens today to uh, do what we can to not only maintain the park, but to make the improvements that are needed so that future generations, our children, our grandchildren, uh, and others can have the same enjoyment and the same park to enjoy as we have. When they, you think of Buell Farm, or mostly everyone, they identify with the casino. The casino is uh, kind of the uh, focal point of the, of, the, of the park. It needs to be renovated. Years ago, we had dances there and, and arts and crafts shows. and it, it, that facility can be used for so many things, and it was in the past. And also, along with the casino, Lake Julia needs work done on it. Uh, throughout the years, the, uh, there's been a buildup of silt in the lake. The shorelines, if you walk around Lake Julia, you'll see the shorelines have eroded. Um, so that it needs work done on it. Um, and also the bridge, uh, although it's, it's, it's um, basically in good shape, it needs some, some work done on it. The park has been here for us for a long time, and uh, I think with the leadership we have, it'll continue to be here and of the same quality. So I think it's give back time, and I think a lot of individuals would do that.
so our grandchildren know the park as I knew the park. Uh, and I think that that's, that's the whole deal. That's going forward. Those kids remembering those times, that's, that's, what, you're, that's what you're investing in. Just think about if every time I came to the park, I threw a quarter in the bin. We probably have enough money to do that. If all the people who come for reunions and meetings, if we all threw in a little bit of money, we could make sure that it would be free in the future. Uh, I'm in the park almost every day in the summertime and in the, in the spring. Uh, my wife and I walk in this park uh, frequently. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's just worth preserving. We've enjoyed it. We've had the benefits. And I think it's only fair play to try to perpetuate it for our kids, our grandchildren, and the people who follow us, because it's a real treasure. Why would you give to the park? Because it doesn't matter where you live. This is just for yourself, for your children, and for their children. It's just a legacy that we would leave to, to the people that have gone before and the people that will come after us. Frank Buell gave it to the Shenango Valley. It belongs to them. And therefore, they are duty-bound to support it. And they have to support it not only by what, the words of their mouth, but also by their dollars. For our children, our families, and for all in the Shenango Valley, Buell Park remains our living legacy.